Yo 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 what's up guys it's Arpa here and today's tutorial I'll show you guys how to make that amazing spoof there fit in the winter so a lot of you guys have been commenting that you want a tutorial on how to make it that kind of split there fit in the winter so so here I am making a tutorial the only plugins you will need for this tutorial is the BCC and Sapphire plugins but other than that drop a like drop a sub and let's get right into the tutorial so basically now I'm in the Witcher Soul and basically let's start doing the effect. So the first thing you want to do is to tar map your clip and stick it up with the music. If you don't know how to tar map your clip, I'll link a major tutorial on that in the description. But now basically let's start doing the build up. So basically how to do the build up is go to your shot of impact, that's the first frame see the numbers pair. So for me it's right here and basically what you have to do is go to FX up here and drag in an adjustment clip and make sure the adjust clip ends on the shot of impact. Make sure that you don't make the adjust clip short because that will mess up the preset we're gonna use. So basically drag the whole adjustment clip and make it so it ends on the shot of impact. I'll tell you guys later when you can make it shorter. But then basically just right click on the adjustment clip and press open in future page or you can just go to the future tab. And in the description you should find the gold raffle then in that gold raffle you should find the preset called build up RP. Basically just download that preset and just drag it in like this. It's pretty long. So basically what I did is I basically kind of just added a bead shake, not really a bead shake, but kind of, and a little glow and some UniVHS to make this like kind of cool scan effect. But then basically go back to edit tab, right click on just one clip and press render cache color bit. And now you can make it short from the beginning if you want, like this. But now we are come to the fun part to actually do kind of the impact and the splitter effect. We can start off by adding the splitter effect. Basically how to do the splitter effect is again go to your shot of impact. That was the first frame you see the number pair, so for me it's right there. And basically press a new clip and press control B right there. Split your clip right there. And then basically you're gonna press on the right part of your clip and basically hold alt on it and drag it one layer up like this. So we basically create a copy and it should be two copy above each other like this. Basically what you're gonna do now to this copy above is you're gonna right click on it and press new compact clip and press create. That's really important because the glass filter effect won't work if you don't do that. But basically when you've done that you can just hover over the compact clip and go to the fusion tab. Then in the same gold ruffle you should find the preset called glass filter RP. Basically just done that preset and just drag it in like this. You will need the BCC plugs and sapphire. Then basically just connect them and you'll see this really cool splitter effect. In my opinion it's crazy good but then basically go back to edit tab and basically what we will do now is we'll add the impact to the shake and the glow some of you guys maybe don't want to do that but i think that it just adds this kind of cool effect to the clip but how to do the impact is again just go to fix and drag an adjustment clip and make it to start on the shot of impact and drag it above everything make sure that you don't make the adjustment clip shorter again so basically just drag the whole adjustment clip and make it to start on the shot of impact I'll tell you guys later when you can make it shorter. But then basically just hover the adjustment clip and go to the fusion tab. Then in the same gold ruffle you should find the preset called impact error. Basically just down that preset and just drag it in like this. It's really cool. It's just a pretty cool impact. Just like some saturation and some glow. I don't know. I just think that it's really makes the effect look better. But then basically go back to the edit tab. Right click on the adjustment clip and press render cache color up with to like take away that lag you know but then basically you can make that just clip shorter from the end if you want but yeah hopefully this video helped you out i know that a bunch of you guys have wanted the tutorial on how to make the split effect in the intro so basically here i did one hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you did please consider drop a like and sub since it actually helps out quite a lot but other than that see you guys in the next video bye